Here we go! Hi, and welcome to another season of You Can Play This. You know, as of late, I've gotten some disturbing emails from some people saying that I go into too much detail in my videos, and they like something that's short and precise. And so, here for the first time is the shortest review that I will ever give you. But, it is very short and precise. Miki Miki Bra Copa Deta Yakar and Banan And now for the rest of you humans See this? This is a list of games that I was planning on doing this season. Watch this. Know why I did that? Because you guys sent in so many great suggestions of games that I actually have that I plan on doing that this entire season. So this season will be all user suggested. So we're going to start off this season with a request from Retro Man Presents. His request? Poppin Music. Now Poppin Music originally came out in the arcades in Japan in 1998 and then out on consoles for the PlayStation 1 and for the Dreamcast. Now you can play this game just like other Konami rhythm games with either a regular controller or a special pad. These specialized controllers were great for the games for the Dreamcast and the PS1, but they were incredibly sensitive and the buttons were kind of close together, but it was much better than playing with just the regular controller. I mean, you could do it, but I'd much rather play with the pad. Now, six normal games and two special games were made for these two platforms, and the series generated notoriety fast. In 2001, Konami produced their first PS2 game, Poppin' Music 7. And man, was it head and shoulders above all the rest. Better graphics, the ability to speed up gameplay, and many, many more songs. Poppin' Music is now on its 14th version on the PS2 with Poppin' Music Fever. Although, the arcades in Japan have raised their number to 17 with Poppin' Music The Movie. Each new version brings its own variety of music from J-pop, to Russian pop, K-Dance and even Neo-Folk Rock. And there are several different characters to represent each genre as well. They all have their own special style and their own animations. The art style is not realistic, but cartoonish in light. And this can lead some to believe that it's a child's game, but it's far from it, and many adults even have their own favorite characters that they play with. Kitty! Now let's focus on my favorite game, Poppin' Music 11. And to play it, I'm going to use this ASC that I made, or an arcade-style controller. Uh, you, you really don't have to go to this length to enjoy the game. Honest. Navigating the menus is super simple, as you just use the buttons to move back and forth, up and down, throughout the options. And the best thing is that all the options are in English, or they have English somewhere in them. Now to start off with, you won't be wanting to use all nine buttons, so you'll want to go to the practice mode. To get there from the start button, scroll until you find the practice area. Just choose the five button selection. Okay. And the nice thing is, you can also play the easy mode with just the controller. You play the game by hitting the appropriate button when the little colored balloons, known as popcuns, hit the bottom line. As you continue to do well, your success bar will rise. You'll only pass a song if your power is anywhere in the red part when the song ends. Now if you start getting good, you can choose either the arcade or the free modes. And then you can choose your characters or your music. Now you'll remember I said something about speeding up gameplay. 
Remember in the old games, for the Dreamcast and the PlayStation, the Popcoon characters were very close together. And that's going to be the same way in these later games. But there is a way to speed things up. And that's to speed up the Popcoons. It may not seem like the correct move, but it really is. You'll soon figure out the best speed for each song for you as you play. The way to get to those controls is, as a song is just about to begin, press both yellow buttons at the same time. When you have changed the options to your liking, you can press the red button to start the song. Now let me just stop here and address something really quick. A lot of you have asked me why I don't review bad video games. Well, I'm going to. Right now. You see, in 2008, Xbox 360 put out a thing called Beaten... Hold on. It was called Beaten... Hold on. Hold on. It's called Beaten Groovy. And wow, is it bad. I mean, look at what they did to my precious Poppin' characters. The games were fine just the way they are. They took out the two main characters for crying out loud. Bunny Girl Mimi and my kitty girl Nyami. Kitty. Now while the gameplay is just like Poppin', the music combines the worst of the Dreamcast and PS1 Poppin' series. So while I will tell you to go out and give this version a try with the free demo download, I will, in the same breath, tell you to give the $8 full game purchase a pass and just import a poppin' game. So, as we wrap things up, let's enjoy one of my favorite poppin' music songs from Poppin' Music 11, Scotland Dream Parfait. Music game enthusiasts will get the most out of this game, but that's not to say that there isn't something for everybody else. If you like hitting buttons and listening to groovy J-pop, then this is the perfect game for you. With lots of songs for all levels of play, you can definitely grow with this game. Earlier versions are, however, more difficult, as Konami was really getting their feet wet for the genre. Kitty graphics make this not too spectacular to watch, but it's a music game. You should be concentrating on the game, not the graphics in the background. Even with Japanese extras in each game, I think that this is one game series that 80% can be played by anyone and everyone without any difficulty. The controls are basic and simple. As you play longer and get better, the controls will become second nature, and you'll see patterns that you didn't see before, because this game is all about patterns. With infectious songs for each version, this is one title you will play over and over and over and over and over. The first games on the PlayStation and the Dreamcast don't run that much. You can purchase them for fairly cheap. The PlayStation 2 games run a bit more, but nothing that isn't affordable. Konami Best versions are even cheaper. Now don't be intimidated by the videos that you see on YouTube of Japanese people playing incredibly difficult songs. They have gone through most of the practice modes and played it. A lot. And I gotta tell you, you'll be wanting to play this game a lot too. Also, if you're interested in making your very own ASC for your poppin' games, go ahead and check out some of my own poppin' music controller builds. I've made a couple myself. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave written or video comments about what you thought of this episode or about other games you might like to see me play in the future.